In Polar Bears Past Bedtime by Mary Pope Osborne, a brother and a sister named Jack and Annie were being sent on another mission by Morgan Lee Fay. She sent, sends them on a mission in a magic treehouse that they discovered in the woods near their house in Broad Creek, Pennsylvania. Completing this mission was going to make them master librarians. They have been on 11 other missions for Morgan in the past. On this mission, Jack and Annie were being sent to the Arctic. In the Arctic, when it is summer, the sun is out for 24 hours a day. When it is winter in the Arctic, it is very dark with lots of snow and ice. This is where our favorite part of the story takes place. While in the Arctic, Jack and Annie played with polar bear cubs on the ice and in the snow. They went sliding down the hills, they wrestled, and they played tag. Jack and Annie had lots of fun until the ice began to break, and the mother polar bear was coming. Jack and Annie didn't know what to do. They didn't know if the mother polar bear was angry with them or if she was coming to get her cubs. They watched the mother polar bear glide across the ice without breaking it. Jack and Annie were amazed that the ice did not break underneath her. Jack and Annie put on polar bear masks that they had to blend in and tried sliding like the mother polar bear did. It worked! The polar bear cubs followed and everyone was safe. even got to see the northern lights before leaving the arctic and returning home to frog creek pennsylvania the sky filled with reds blues greens and purples jack and annie thought it was absolutely beautiful in the end jack and annie completed their mission they had lots of fun with the polar bears and learned many great facts along the way for example did you know that igloo means house Jack and Annie became master librarians and got a special library card for completing their mission that they will use in their future missions.